All right, guys, this is um, Hunter here from Just Plus Play. Um, and Nathaniel Clay. I will be getting a nickname shortly, but I just don't like nicknames, so, you know. Just call me Nate. Yeah, just call me Nate. <laughs> All right, so today we're talking about the NX, the yeah, which right is here. finally released, the Nintendo Switch. Oh, God, the name. Um, the name <laughs> does not sound good at all. For a console from a multi-million dollar company, you would think that designers would be like, okay, let's um find a way better name than... um. You know Nintendo Switch, cause like it's like just looking at it right here, it just does not look like a very appealing name. Like it's it's to me like Switch. I always say witch, like or or bitch. Like I end up saying a name that I'm not supposed to say. And it's like you really had you really had a Nintendo. You could have just called you know they could just call it Nintendo Next. That would have saved a lot of um issues. Um, post launch, you know. And honestly, just I don't know why the Switch. Like looking at the console, the way it works, just. From the trailer, that you know, it doesn't doesn't make sense to switch. It's not yeah. like you're you're transforming it or anything. It's just you're taking it out, just taking a tablet out of a giant little. Yeah, um, I wish switch. we could show some video gameplay, but Nintendo is gonna flag the video. So instead, what I'm gonna do is when I play the video, I'm going to um, I'm gonna put a um, let's see, I'm gonna put what can I actually what can I block? But okay, let's. You know, what? I'm just gonna put a blur on it. You know, like here it is right here. Of course, we all see it. There, the there's, blur. There, there, yeah, then, then you, you see a blur since we get we get sued, um, and it's like a blur effect on there. You can still see the console, but it's blurred, so I can mm -hmm. dodge Nintendo. And there's also going to be like, since we also can't use sound, because Nintendo will um, cover our seconds for sound. Yeah, everyone on YouTube, Nintendo does this. Um, also adding a blur and a uh, 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 dancing chicken. Some like some, some you might see something ridiculous as hell on Adobe Premiere just pop up. Um, some ridiculous crap and bullshit going on. So, anything else you got to say about it? Okay, honestly, just from the first look at it, I, um, okay, my, my impression of it, I'm excited for it. I'm honestly, not excited for it. I am. Honestly, I am. I'm excited for it. I'm not a big Nintendo fan. I'll tell you this right now. I'm not a big Nintendo fan. I Man. don't like a lot of Nintendo products. There mm -hmm. are some that I do enjoy. Mm -hmm. There are plenty that I had uh, my, you know, the sweet privilege of enjoying. And still enjoy like the the GameCube and so on and so forth, but this one it it brings back something that I remember and that is the PSP. Honestly, really, it reminds me of the PSP and how you can just take it anywhere. It just the way the way it's presented, the way it is, it just reminds you of a PSP. The only difference is you can just hook it up just to your TV and that's it. And yeah, honestly, they, they... that is what is appealing to me: the uh, accessibility, mm -hmm, the, yeah. the fact that you can take it anywhere. The fact that you can play with eight people, that to me reminds me a lot of the PSP. It <clears> does, <throat> right? Yeah, where you could just take it anywhere, play with anyone, and enjoy the shit out of it. But there are a couple things that do bother me. Well, a little bit, I'm cautious about. One, does it break it easily? Like, yeah, that's uh, the biggest thing. I don't mean to cut you off, but remember the Nintendo Switch controller? Um, that controller, oh my gosh, I hate to say this, this thing looks cheap. Uh, I'm I'm sorry. It looks like one of those um, cheap um, Xbox 360 like, knockoffs, or or you know those um, mobile controllers you get on. Uh, <laughs> yeah, those. No, wait, M Amazon. Let's see. Yeah, those those. What is this? Oh, computer wall. Okay, computer phone wall. Um, let's see. Um, what is it? Not not musical instruments. Go go home. <laughs> um. Uh oh wait wait no dang it. Alright, let's see. Uh, what what do you what do you call? Yeah. So honestly, okay, honestly to me, it, it, some parts do worry me because they look cheap. They look like they're going to break. So honestly, this is my biggest concern. Yeah, they, they, they look might cheap. Yeah, it looks like something like it looks like something like. No offense, like you guys might be like, no, it looks nothing like it, but no, it looks like something cheap that you would get off of Amazon. You know? <laughs> like a knockoff of something. Like honestly, it looks like a knockoff of an Xbox 360 controller for the for the computer, or other things like that. So here's the thing. So here's the thing. Honestly, I know they're going for hardware here, but is it going to outlast, or is it going to be the good console that's gonna be like bringing it back to Nintendo? People are saying, honestly, I'm I sort of agree, but at the same time, I'm I'm cautious about it. They're agreeing that yes, this is the console that's gonna put Nintendo back in the market. This is gonna be the console that again just makes them compete with. The with Xbox and the PlayStation. Yeah, it does. And it looks like it is because of one, the graphics, two, portability. Yeah. But the caution is there of whether it breaks easily, 
whether other things can happen. So right now, honestly, it looks like a very good and interesting product. It does. Product, it really, really does. But it can break. But it can be this. But we've only gotten a glimpse. We only get a really good, and and we don't know if this is final. Remember what this, happened with the Wii yeah. U? They had like new bumpers and stuff for the Wii U controller. They we might. Don't, we don't know. know at all. And here's also the biggest thing. It seems to be getting a lot of support from other companies. That is oh, cool. Oh, yeah. That, that, like, is, um, that is the biggest thing. It's getting so much support. It's so much. Like, I just, this Google image right here. This this shows how many companies they have. They have um, a lot of fucking companies. Like, I, I have not, they even have five of, the Codemasters, really? NT Create? Well, no, nah, they, they've been everything. at them. Like, been at them. Even, take even, Two, this surprised me. Take Two. You get Take Two, that means they're getting Red Dead, all those really, really good games. Yeah. People play. And they even brought THQ in there, like the company back from the dead. Yeah, they all, oh, yeah, because Nordic, Nordic Soft yeah. back. So, so um, anyway, yeah. like, honestly, just the support it's getting, it, it tells me that this might be a very good product. But, again, we don't know what kind of games we're going to get for it. Yeah, we saw, like, a uh, uh, Skyrim on it, but. Again, what support when it like you know? Come on, just look at the games for the PC. Uh, the, the ports suck. They and oh so, man, they do. They Sorry, do. Guys. So Sorry. How, how? And remember uh, Call of Duty for the Wii. Oh come the, on! Even the Wii U one, um, <clears throat> Ghost for for Wii U was bad. Yeah. So. so here's the thing: what kind of support are we gonna be? We're gonna be looking at for the games here for the Nintendo Nintendo NX. I'm gonna call it that. I don't the care. NX, yeah. I'm calling it the NX because it sounds better. So honestly, that is what I, we're concerned about. Yeah. What kind of support are the games going to get? So anyway, thank you guys for listening in for this quick little uh, update on the NX and so on and so forth. Thanks.